Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to show you how to chop up your samples in Record 1.5 just in case you don't have Recycle. So we're going to open up Record and we're going to switch over to our sequencer. And the song I'm going to load in is at the tempo of 140, so we'll just bump this up to 140. And now I'm going to create an audio track and import my file. Uh, my audio file is located in my iTunes because that's where I converted it to a WAV file. Uh, the song is going to be called Shot Me Down by Bear off the Subhuman album, which will be a link in the description where you can get it for free. There it is. So I'm just going to zoom in on where I will be sampling it. And they're going to be 8 bar. I have 8 bars of samples. And each will be 4 beats each, but I'm going to let you listen to it. Alright. Okay, so I changed my snap to 1 8th beat, so every 8 note that's played in a measure is shown. So, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all through there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 2 beats, so it'll be cut right here, 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 and here. So, I have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no. Cut this for size, and... I'm going to make this one small because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right there. Erase this last bit and create eight tracks. Drag each one into its own lane. I think I might have nine. Oh, we're good. All right, and you can see this is a little bit shorter than the rest of them. But I'm going to show you what to do later when we re-import them into our sampler. First, we need to take this right, drag it right to the end of the longest clip. So if you have anything longer, say it was here, on the two, you'd put it there. But we don't. So, file, export, bounce mixer channels, check all, unselect the master section, and the loop should be clicked to left and right locator and audio files on a disk. Now I already have mine to wave file, 192 hertz and 24 bit depth, which is the highest you can go. But for the sake of time, I'm going to put it on 44 and 16. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. You can see it's right here. Bounce Untitled 5. Okay. You can open up a new one. And go to a rack. Open up a Kong. Initialize the Kong. And drop down the show drum and effects. Now on drum 1, the drum module should be an in in nano sampler. Now we're going to load all the bottom four samples into this one nano. So double click. Auto track one. Double click. Two. Three. And four. Now, right here, this plays the very first one which is the hit type 1. The hit type 1, 2, 3, and 4 are associated with the hit sample 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to go to 2, associate drum assignment with 1, and hit type 2. 3, 1, whoops, 1, 3, 4, 1, 4. So as we go down the pad, you can see right here that everything is associated with 1, which is your drum assignment. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Come up to 5, create an in and nano. And do the same thing with the other 4 tracks. Which will be 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we got to go back through and associate all these. 6 with 5, and hit 2. 7 with 5, hit 3. 8 
with five and hit four. Okay, so if you remember, this one right here is shorter than the rest of them. So we're going to want to click Edit Sample on that one. And we want to make the end where it ends. Save. And there you go. You just chopped up your samples all in one program, saving you lots of money, of course. Sorry I haven't been on here for a while, but my I've been really busy lately with my band. We're currently in the studio recording our first album, and we have a single release show coming up, which hopefully we'll have the single done by then. We don't know yet. I'm going back in the studio Thursday to record guitars and keyboards, so really excited for that. Get to go back in there. And I also have a new recording set up. Uh, right now I'm using a Turtle Beach X11. So comment on if you like the audio quality in this better. Personally, I think it sounds better because I've already done lots of tests on it, but we'll see how that goes. And I know I haven't been uploading videos a lot lately, but I have been answering your questions. So you still have questions, keep them coming to me because I love answering your questions. And I will see you guys later.